Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I've got a feeling we're going to smash it, so make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. Drop a early like as well. But yeah, as you can see behind me guys, the background has changed. I've moved my setup completely around, changed it. I prefer it here a lot more to be honest. This is how I used to have it when I first started doing these videos. Like way back when I was recording Fortnite, if anyone... If any of you remember that, if you do, then comment below because that was so long. No one really watched them videos apart from like two or three people. So if you are still watching the videos from then, let me know. That would be awesome. But yeah, as like I've mentioned in previous videos, the plans is I'm going to get some nano leaves and all that kind of stuff in the background. So it's a bit nice for you guys to look at. I mean, I've had a few people comment that they would like a better backdrop. I've also eliminated the fact that there was a window there, window there, and there was clashing, making a big contrast in the video. It was not very good quality at all. So hopefully you guys like this. I've made the face cam in a different position as well. Usually I'd have it over to my left on the laptop, so you have this side of my face. Now it's more of a head-on angle, which I do prefer quite a lot. So let me know if you guys prefer it as well. But yeah, apart from that, I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday. It was one of them days. And I was uh, speaking to a few people on Twitter, two or three people. Uh, my friend Moz was on about it as well. Um, the game right now just seems super stale and every lobby I'm playing is just horrendous and there's just so many sweats. I'm not trying to say I'm bad, well maybe I am, but they're just getting slayed every single game. I couldn't get anything going, put me in a really, really bad mood. I didn't want to record in a bad mood and bring that bad energy to you guys. So I left it out, I had yesterday off, feel fresh today and I've got a banger of a video for you guys today. But yeah, without further ado, sorry for the hold up at the start. In today's video, we're going to be covering the AK-74U in Modern Warfare. I've talked about this gun numerous times and you've probably heard of it before in this game, how you can create it in this game. But right now, it's an absolute beast with the recent patches and how the guns have changed from the start of this game. The AK-74U now is insanely good. And if you want to try the AK-74U out for yourself, this is the class up on the screen right now. It is insane. I'm not going to run through every single attachment with you because I'm sure you guys know what it's going to do. Make sure you slap these attachments on. I mean, you can swap the fully loaded perk for whatever you desire. I have tried it with sleight of hand and it runs really, really well. Honestly, such a great weapon, but I obviously have fully loaded because I hate running out of ammo. But yeah, do a screenshot, do whatever you want to do. Make sure you get this class up down. It's absolutely insane and it's so much fun to use, so nostalgic. Okay, but apart from that, guys, we're going to hop straight into a game right now. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you do smash a like. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay, guys, we're playing Cranked on Shoot House right now. Hopefully we can have a decent game. I can't believe how good this AK-74U, oh my days, is in this game. I Honestly, it's like my first time really trying it out. I mean, oh my god, please don't kill me. Where's this guy gone? But yeah, it's so nostalgic using it and I can't believe how good it actually is. Where is everybody going off right now? I don't even, that was, I don't even know. I didn't even see anyone. My teammates were firing everywhere. I'm going to die. But yeah, my first ever Call of Duty video on this channel. Please don't kill me. Please let me have a beam. I'm just going to run away from them, guys. I don't want anything to do with that right now. But yeah, my first ever Call of Duty video I ever uploaded to YouTube was with the AK-74U. It was a Modern Warfare Remastered. It was a game of shipment. I remember it very, very well. And I went on an absolute tear. Uh, it wasn't a live com. It was just using the PlayStation Record feature. And I still use all my days. I still use that feature quite a lot. I think it's such a great feature. You know, if you get a good gameplay, uh, you can just save it to the PS4 and talk over it or do whatever you want. You know? So I really like that feature. But anyway, and it was such a great game. And... All the whole time when I first started this channel and I was doing Fortnite, uh, only, only reason was I did enjoy Fortnite, but it was just it was popping off, and you know, at the time, I, well, I never was a great Fortnite player, and oh my days, there's got more. I'm doing them videos was just not. Oh my god, please don't kill me, can I please get out of this alive. Oh my days, where's anybody else? No, right, we're safe, we can talk. But I didn't enjoy doing them, and. I knew in my heart that I wanted to do Call of Duty videos. Um, I've always loved Call of Duty, I've always loved watching Call of Duty. So I took the plunge and it was right before Black Ops 4 was going to come out and I was uh, sort of preparing for Black Ops 4 and just talking about it in general and letting all you guys know the change that was going to come to the channel because obviously I presumed, I think, I think I had like 50 subs by this point, I'd been doing it like, I don't know, three months, I had 50 subscribers. The videos were super poor quality though, like, I mean, I didn't have a mic, I used the mic built into my old laptop. But well, basically, I run you from the setup, I had an old laptop, okay, the screen was smashed because I'd stood on it way, way before I'd even bothered to try and do YouTube. So I had it hooked up to the, 
What is that lag? I didn't even realise I was lagging. I just tried to shoot that kid and was like, what the hell is going off? That was super strange. But yeah, so I had the broken laptop. I had it hooked up to some ghetto monitor. Like, it wasn't a great monitor. Oh my, it's still in the corner. I didn't even see him. So I had it hooked up to the ghetto monitor and just ran. I bought the Elgato. Like, I think I bought my the first Elgato I had. I just bought it off eBay because I wasn't sure if it, I wasn't sure if it was something I wanted to do. You know, it was at the time I just started my job and I've always been the person. The job I still do to this day. Uh, I've always been. Oh my god, it's always a video of a stupid C4 throw, man. Like, what even was that one? I've always been that kind of person like, oh my days, that I don't want to do this forever, you know, I don't want to be just a standard job kind of person, I mean, I, I still am that person, you know, I, I still could end up with a standard job and just live a regular life, if you will, that most people live and have a good life, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, obviously it's a good thing, you know, do something you enjoy, but there's never been a job for me that I really, really enjoy or thought, oh my god, I would love to do that, apart from this. Apart from YouTube, you know, obviously the obvious like professional football and stuff, but um, obviously that's not going to happen, you know. But this could happen, you know, if I just put in the work, and that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, I had I bought the Elgato off eBay second hand, uh, which was the really the first Elgato that came out. I have the HD60. I don't, I'm not sure if it's the HD60s. I don't think it is. But yeah, I got that off Amazon. Uh, the one I use now, obviously a new one. I don't really like buying things second hand. Uh, it's just me, but because I didn't weren't sure. I thought I'd just buy a cheaper option just in case, you know, it could have been a thing I did for a month, a week. I didn't I didn't know at this point. And here we are two years later uploading every single day still. Um, and I'm loving it, you know. It's been such a journey so far. Uh, we hit two years in on the third of May. But I would like I don't I wouldn't want to say two years, I'd say I'd been doing it a year because the first year was like I'd upload a video like every week or every two weeks. It was just when I could be bothered really. Um, so now obviously I really enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it this much as I did. I mean I did and I didn't. It's, it's kind, of, kind of complicated. So yeah, and I would record the video obviously where, with the mic on my PC and there was super poor quality and at that point as Black Ops 4 was coming out that's when I realised that I need to up my game here. I need to do what I want, what I enjoy. Um, as I was just doing Fortnite for the simple point, it was, you know, the thing, it still is really, really popular, but I mean, then when I started, it was at its peak, you know, like, everybody played Fortnite, nobody played anything different, and me included, um, and I don't know how I died there, and yeah, I switched to COD, let everybody know that, you know, that I'm a Call of Duty player, I, this is what I enjoy the most, and... I don't know, no one commented obviously, no one seemed really bothered that I had like 50 subscribers, but that's what changed the direction of my channel, you know, and about just before Black Ops 4 was released, in, oh, maybe, maybe not, yeah it was, it was at the start of Black Ops 4, because I remembered obviously it's going to be a new game, I need to make sure I'm on my quality, and it costs obviously there's going to be loads of people searching for Black Ops 4 on, on the day it comes out, or well, the beta it was. Um, at that time, it was the beta. I had it ready for the blue snowball, which I still have. I'm upgrading mics, though. I'm, I'm, I'm still looking to. Let me know what mic you guys have if you're a content creator. I want a condenser mic, the one that sort of bows down. I'm looking over there as if the camera's over there. That bows down. Um, one that like bows down in front of me. So yeah, that's what I kind of want. So we'll see what's going to happen with that in the next two days. But then I need to save up some nano leaves as well. I mean, geez, man, they're so expensive, but they look so cool. So we'll see. I went to a raffle actually to win some nano leaves, like 30 nano leaves for a fiver. They followed me on Instagram, like Bunny Raffle. If you've got Instagram and you're from the UK, I'm not sure if it's UK exclusive, but check it out. They don't have that many followers, so I felt like maybe I'll uh, stand a decent chance uh, of winning. So we'll see. Maybe knows I might win a load of nano leaves for a fiver. I doubt it though. So I need to make sure I'm saving up for that. And now I'm just working on improving the quality the best I can at the minute, you know. I've pushed it to the next stage at Black Ops 4 and we sort of coasted to this point, if you will. I just did the same style video every single day. In fact, no, I'm going to reiterate, when I first started Black Ops 4, uh, well, from the very start of Black Ops 4 to like midway through Black Ops 4, I'd say, I still had the same old crappy laptop. Uh, and I had because it was that old and it was so slow, I couldn't edit on it and I would edit the video on purely on the Elgato and I would cut out like, I don't know, maybe like a minute's worth and it, it was it was awful man and then I pushed it to the next level when I realised uh, it was maybe through Black Ops 4 and I think it was when PewDiePie started his Minecraft series. Uh, obviously I loved watching them and I 
do like Minecraft. Uh, it's not something I play all the time. It's more of a nostalgic game for me as I used to play it back in the day uh, with all my friends. And I've decided to start a series on that just for a little while, just see how it goes. Still, while still uploading Black Ops 4, and uh, you know, it did. We did quite well, to be fair. I really enjoyed making them style videos just because there was no pressure. Uh, when it comes to these style of videos, I'm trying to get a decent game, which might not be this video, I'm just doing a one take sort of thing today, just just talking, I kind of like doing these videos once in a while, instead of, you know, recording two hours worth of footage, just to cut it down to ten minutes, you know, when I get a decent game, that's not what I'm going for today, I just want to talk to you guys mainly, uh, oh, we're playing decent though, this, this gun is actually insane, sorry I'm not focused on it too much, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video anyway. So yeah, I was uploading the Minecraft videos, minimal editing still, doing it on the Elgato, oh my days, Jesus Christ, nice little triple kill there. So I was still editing on the Elgato and my girlfriend had a MacBook Air at the time, well she still has it actually, and I was stopping at her house and I was like, I'll come after um, I've edited this video, you know. And she was like, why, why, why don't you just edit it at my house, I didn't even know you could get on top of that forklift, I didn't know that to be honest. And that's a, such a douchebag with two bouncing betties there, but hey ho, at least he killed himself. Um, so I was like, alright, cool, fair enough. And it took me forever to get the footage from my Elgato uh, onto a USB and all that stuff because the laptop was so old and crap. And I waited till, I didn't do it whilst I got there, where she fell asleep and I went on iMovie and just tried it. And it took me like, I would say an hour, two hours, like middle of the night trying to edit this Minecraft video and I literally did next to nothing really different I had added a few effects uh, there was no background music uh, I didn't really learn that piece until a bit later on until Modern Warfare actually I don't think I actually started adding back background music I could be mistaken on that I might be wrong we'll see I can't even remember but yeah and that's when it changed for me I was like oh my god this quality of this video is just 10 times better I could make better cuts and add the little effects and I thought this Minecraft video was absolutely hilarious it really wasn't looking back on it now but I thought it was hilarious and I loved it so much and a couple of weeks afterwards I was like still taking some of my videos to hers because obviously I was working for the week uh, so I'd go stop at hers on the weekend so every weekend I'd make sure I had a Minecraft video ready for to edit whilst I was there uh, I never used to do the Black Ops 4 videos on there just because I felt like what what could I add to a Black Ops 4 video you know it's just a COD video but now I know there is things I could add and I'd do that now and I uh, really enjoyed it so I did that for a couple of weeks and thought what am I doing why don't I just get my own so that's what I did and that's what I have today I've got a MacBook Air for anybody wondering what PC I use I don't really have it with. I don't even know if I'm going to class it a PC it's, it's a MacBook I don't even know I mean I guess you could but I do prefer Windows now to be honest I've always preferred Windows it was good uh, and I primarily just got this laptop for iMovie uh, I don't use iMovie anymore I literally switched a week ago, well, not even a week ago, it was a couple of days ago to Premiere Pro I tried Premiere Pro uh, prior to this but I just didn't get on with it, I don't know why probably because I just couldn't be bothered to learn what was going off as I'm flashed um, but yeah and now I've made the switch I want a Windows PC again uh, you know, but it has been good and that's just sort of a little story of my YouTube journey I guess and in terms of quality of videos and that's when I pushed it to the next level when I got this computer and I saw a huge increase in subs I mean I had a couple of Black Ops 4 videos get like 5,000 I think the most got 5,000 views and what was that C4 I think the video with 5,000 views was where I broke the uh, I got like 80 kills in one TDM game solo it was an insane game. I was comparing my gameplays from Black Ops 4 to this. I was saying my gameplays in Black Ops 4 was so much better. It's a shame not as many people watched them back then, uh, and unfortunately you can't watch them. Uh, I'll explain that why. Reason being is because uh, I used I used to not do Photoshop. Basically, I used to either put a screenshot from the video in the video, or I would get one off Google Images. And I would strongly recommend. I wouldn't even recommend. Don't do it. Don't do this because now I'm scared uh, as now I'm getting more views. I know I'm not getting loads, but obviously I'm going to keep getting more and more views, hopefully. That somebody's going to notice this and it's going to give me bad blood with some other YouTuber if he sees it or, you know, it could burn bridges or it could end up being the channel getting copyright claimed and then at the end of the day being terminated because I've got so many of them. So they're all private now. You can't watch any of my old videos. It's a stupid thing to do. And it's funny. 
because not yesterday, the day before as well, I got a kid on Instagram message me just randomly saying, hey bro, can I use your thumbnail? And it was the thumbnail from the MP5 variant video I did a couple of days ago. If you guys did watch that, if you haven't, check it out. It's a pretty decent variant. And I was didn't reply at first, and I was sort of shocked. I was like, what do I do about this? Uh, I checked this guy's channel out, and he'd obviously got loads of thumbnails from Twitter. Uh, not Twitter, from Google Images. You can tell if it's from Google Images because the resolution, the quality on it is very, very low. Uh, but yeah, I knew straight away he was taking thumbnails and I put back to this kid, um, no, I don't want you to use my thumbnail, um, why don't you try and make your own? You don't want to use other people's thumbnails, but they're trying to be nice but give him some advice as well and say that I can't use my thumbnail. Uh, and this kid just kept messaging and messaging me and ultimately I ended up making this kid his own thumbnail. Uh, it was super shabby, I made it in like 5 minutes. Uh, I've got a load of the templates already ready anyway, so it doesn't take me long to make a thumbnail now. Uh, and I said, you need to get better at Photoshop, and he's like, I don't know how to use Photoshop, I just like to get them off Google. Uh, and tried to explain to him the consequences of this, and he just didn't understand, I think I had 20 subs. And I was the same, but if you are thinking of starting out, I would, the sooner you get to get to Photoshop, the better, or something. To create a thumbnail, oh there's another stupid C4 throw, something to do with Photoshop um, that you can make a thumbnail on, make sure you do because it's going to help you out massively down the line. I mean if you go back to my first Modern Warfare video, the thumbnail on that video compared to this video now you're probably going to see, or I don't know, any of my recent thumbnails, there's going to be a huge difference and I can't even aim, wow. Uh, I was looking at the camera while I was trying to shoot that kid. But yeah, make sure you don't do that because it's just going to screw you over later and some of them views got 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 views there was insane gameplays but they weren't my thumbnail and I was so scared in my Minecraft video I have one Minecraft video left on the channel it has nearly 10,000 views it might even have 10,000 if you're watching this uh, and I want to private that video because it's just awful quality man but yeah that had a stolen thumbnail on it and I actually got someone comment that um, and I, I just totally forgot about them, you know, and that's when I changed it. I put my own thumbnail on it now. Uh, and all the other ones, because obviously I don't have time to make a thumbnail for every single video, you know. I changed them, I private them. I did what I had to do. Don't do it. A little bit of friendly advice. It's a stupid thing to do. Just use Photoshop, man. It's way more, uh, I don't know, satisfying. Self-satisfying, if you will. But yeah, guys, we're back in the lobby. I felt like this video went on for ages. I played two games and just rambling about a little bit of YouTube story, a little bit of YouTube advice. I hope you guys did enjoy this, though. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about this. It was kind of interesting, I thought, anyway. I thought you guys might find it interesting. A little bit of advice towards the end there. One, don't message people asking for the thumbnail because they're not going to like you. 100%, I can tell you that now. Don't steal them off Google. I put a screenshot from the video. That's what I first did. I know it's not great. But you try and use Photoshop as soon as you can. Yeah, I know you have to pay for it, but you can get a free trial and just keep making emails to get another free trial. But save yourself a hassle. I think it's £20 a month. My mine is. I pay £20 a month, and I think that's for Premiere Pro and Photoshop included in both. So it's kind of, the, kind of the full package, so I would recommend doing that. Very, very worth it. You've got to invest money into this to get money out of it. I don't get any money yet. Hoping to. So we'll see. But yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you did like the video, make sure you smash a like. If you guys are new around here, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button as well. If you are already subscribed, make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video I do upload. And yeah, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.